Hello, my name is Ziad Rajabi, and today I'm going to show you how to leverage the OpenXML SDK to import custom UI to a set of documents. So as part of Office 2007, we introduced a new UI called Fluent UI to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. This is essentially the ribbon technology that you see in those applications. In addition to providing mechanisms to customize the UI in those applications, we provided mechanisms to customize the UI as seen within a specific file. So for example, let's say I have a document, and in this document it's called ODC Ribbon Template. In this document, I've customized the UI specifically to include a new tab called Office Developer Resources. And in this tab, I have several commands here. And what these commands do is they'll take me to specific websites. So I clicked on the Channel 9 command, and it'll take me to the Channel 9 website for Microsoft Office. So these commands are all powered by macros sitting within the app with within the document itself. So let's say I have a repository of documents and here's the repository of documents and these documents can either be macro enabled files like doc1, docm and they can also be macro free files like doc3, docx. And the thing is none of these files within this directory have that custom UI. So let's imagine a scenario where I want to take that custom UI, my template document I showed you earlier, and add them all to this particular set of documents within my directory here. Well, to do that, you can do this very easily with the OpenXML SDK. So here's a solution that I have. And in this solution, I'm using the OpenXML SDK, as you can see here. It's called documentformat.openxml. And I'm using the following namespaces. So in particular, I'm dealing with Word documents, so I'm going to use the Word Processing namespace. Let's go ahead and view this in full screen mode. All right, and what I'm doing here is I need to do a couple of things. Well, first, let's go through the directory of files, which is what I'm doing here. Grab all the files, and if the file ends with the docx, I know it's a macro-free file. So when by macro-free file, I mean these files are not allowed to have macros enabled inside them. So what I need to do is I need to change these files to macro enabled in order to contain the macros needed to power those commands. So let's go ahead and let me show you what that method looks like for changing the document type. So within the SDK we have the ability to go and open up these documents and change the document type. And in this case I'm going to change the document type to be a macro enabled document. Once I have the document type changed I need to change the file name itself. So this particular code here will go ahead and change the file name from a docx to docm and delete the original docx. All right, once I have that docm in my file, or if I'm dealing with a particular docm already, let's go ahead and import the custom UI. Let's go into that code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the template file. I'm going to open up the template file. I'm going to grab the ribbon extensibility part, which contains the custom UI contained within the document itself. And I'm going to go and find the VBA or VBA project or the macro part within my file. And to find that, I can go through all the parts, find the part that has a specific relationship type that is of a VBA project. And once I find that, I will go grab that part. Now that I have that part, I can then add those particular parts to my output file. So again, I'm going to open up my output file. And if my output file already contains a ribbon part or a VBA part. I'm going to delete those original parts. So right here I'm deleting the ribbon part. Then I'm going to add my new ribbon part that I've imported from my other template file. And I'm going to do the same thing for my VBA part as well. And once I have all that, I will then add that again. I will add the VBA part and save out the document. And at this point, when I run this entire solution, let's go ahead and run it. Get a full mode and run the solution. What this is going to do is going to go. It's going to take place really, really fast, because the SDK is incredibly fast. And now, if I go back to my files, you'll see that everything is converted now to docm. So if I go here, doc3 used to be doc3 docx is now docm. And now, when I get into here, you'll notice that I have a custom tab inside here called Office Developer Resources and now when I click Channel 9 it'll take me to the same website that my template document also took me to. So hopefully this solution 
is a quick and easy way for you to go and import and customize custom UI to a set of documents.